Africans, I'm Stephen Maasha. Thank you for viewing and listening to this YouTube channel. Please do not forget to subscribe and share this audio video with friends and children. To subscribe, you just touch the red word subscribe underneath the audio video and it will change to subscribed in black. Touch the bell as well in order to be notified when a new video is uploaded. This English lesson is dedicated to all intermediate phase learners. However, learners in other phases will also benefit. The lessons are basically aimed at helping the learners to do revision at home and to clarify them in case they did not understand in the classroom. The lesson focuses on countable and uncountable nouns. As a recap, a noun is a naming word. We identify every person, place or thing with a name. Without names, we would not be able to communicate or understand one another. What are countable nouns? They are the names of things that we can count, like animals and people. We use numbers. Example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 30 etc and etc and words such as many or some or a few or a lot of with countable nouns here are examples of countable nouns and a constructed sentence on each apples mother bought some apples books there are a lot of books in the library elephants we saw a few elephants in the game reserve. Pen. Mary has five pens in a pencil case. House. Many houses were damaged by the storm. What are uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns are the names of things that cannot be counted, like sand, water, and salt. We use the words much or a little or a lot of with uncountable nouns. Here are examples of uncountable nouns and constructed sentence on each. Salt. John added much salt on his meat. Rain. Much rain falls in summer. Sugar. There is little sugar left in the container. Water. A lot of water is wasted. Sand. There was much sand on the road after rainfall. Parents, guardians, brothers and sisters should let intermediate face learners identify other countable and uncountable nouns at home. Learners should also construct sentences of their own and the people they reside with should check if they are correct and offer the necessary assistance. In a case where the people residing with the learner cannot correct the work, he or she should ask the English teacher at school to check the personal homework and offer help. Remember, I always encourage continuation of formal learning through this channel. Please follow the next English lesson.